Okay, folks, I'm back uh, with part two video troubleshooting a Samsung PN51F 8500. Had a problem where the TV, the logo would flash on the screen momentarily, and then the screen would go black, and I would get uh, three red indicators, LED flashes in the front. So we were able to uh, isolate the problem via uh, using the pin three and pin four jumper points to eliminate whether it's the control, the, the logic control board or whether it's the main logic board that was causing our problem. And this was after all the voltages were checked. Uh, this, this set has a VS, a VE voltage, a VSC, VSC voltage and a VE voltage. They all were checking out. All the power supply voltages were checking out that are listed right here on this label. Okay, the VSC voltage checkpoint over here was uh, very, was plus or minus 70 volts. Uh, at, it, at this point here, it was minus 190, as it says. Our VS and our VA voltage were reading properly also. VS was 209 and VA was 63 volts. Okay. Um, so therefore, we had eliminated these three boards of the possible cause for the shutdown. So now, uh, I've received the replacement board. This is the original board. And as you can see, I got a, a same, same flashing uh, health indicator as it was doing with the previous board, even though we didn't have a good signal picture. So what I'm going to do now is plug up the TV and we're going to test and see if this board fixes our problem. Moving around to the front of the TV. And as you see, I plugged it up and the TV is actually already on. So let's shut it off. So we can see the logo come up again. There's a smart logo, and the TV starts right up. So there we have it. Our problem was the main board, and all the other boards were okay. We were able to isolate whether it was the main board or the logic board by running the, 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 our scan patterns. Uh, and voila, here we are. Thanks for watching, and like my video, and share it if you can.